ISIS back on the offensive, the terror group launching new attacks on multiple fronts across Iraq. In the north, striking Kurdish forces in towns including Sinjar. And in the west, striking Iraqi forces in the town of al-Baghdadi, just a few miles from a strategic Iraqi air base where some 400 U.S. military personnel are training Iraqi forces. Despite the U.S.-led air campaign, the size of their fighting force, U.S. officials say, is increasing monthly, replenished with a continuing stream of foreign fighters, including from the West and the U.S. Now, continuing concern from counterterrorism officials that some militants could return home undetected. If I were to say that we had it under control, then I would say I knew of every single individual traveling. I don't, and I don't know every person there, and I don't know everyone coming back. So it's not even close to being under control. Here's the scope of the threat. More than 20,000 foreign fighters in Iraq and Syria. More than 3,400 of them Westerners. And approximately 150 Americans have gone or attempted to go to the war zone. The nation's top counterterrorism official says the number of fighters flocking to Syria and Iraq to fight with ISIS and other terror groups is unmatched in two decades. The rate of foreign fighter travel that we've seen in recent years is unprecedented. It exceeds the rate of travel and travelers who went to Afghanistan, Pakistan, Ye Iraq, Yemen or Somalia, other prominent conflict zones. ISIS's reach is now spreading to other countries, to Libya, Yemen, Egypt and in Afghanistan and Pakistan, where the Pentagon says some Taliban are now rebranding themselves as ISIS, hoping the ISIS name will attract new recruits and new financing.